Hi, uh, welcome to this quick guide into the time value of money and also net present value or NPV. We're going to explain these concepts. Okay, so what's in this video? Firstly, we're going to explain the key finance concept, the time value of money. Then we'll talk about net present values, uh, which is an application of the time value of money. Then we'll go through the present value formula and also a net present value example and then we'll do a quick review. Okay, let's get going. The time value of money. So let's explain it this way. Let's pose a question. Would you rather have $1,000 today or $1,000 in a year's time? Does it make a difference? Which one would you prefer? Well, firstly, inflation would mean $1,000 in a year would purchase less than $1,000 today. So that's one reason why you might want $1,000 today. And secondly, how do you know with certainty that you will definitely receive $1,000 in a year's time? That's another reason why you might want $1,000 today. But a cornerstone finance concept relates to the fact that you could take $1,000 today, invest that $1,000 in a risk-free asset, and then you would have $1,000 plus the interest in a year's time. And that explains why it's always better to have $1 or $1,000 today than having $1 or $1,000 tomorrow. Because you can always take the money that you have today, invest it, and then have the original sum plus the interest in a future period of time. And that explains why time, and when you receive certain cash flows, creates different value for that particular sums of money. So let's talk about net present values, which is linked to the time value of money. The net present value calculations are about valuing a series of future cash flows. So businesses and investors need to consider the value of any project or invested funds. So a business may outlay a certain amount of capital in the hope that they get capital coming in from that investment down the track. And let's try and link in the idea of the time value of money and, how, and find out how we can value a series of future cash flows that result from a project or investment. So if we invest a certain amount today and in return receive benefits in the future, what are the value of these funds? So let's, let's go through an example quickly. Let's value a series of future cash flows. So we have the year 2016, which is today, and we invest $1,000, which is an outflow, perhaps in a gold mine. So minus $1,000 in our new gold mine to set up the equipment, dig the hole, and so forth. In 2017, we expect to receive $550 in gold. In 2018, we expect to receive $350 in gold, and in 2019, we expect to receive $475 in gold. So what is the value of this gold mine? Is it simply the $1,000 outlay plus the inflows of $550, $350, and $475? So is the value of the project simply the sum of those, which is $375? Now remember the time value of money concepts we talked about earlier. All of these cash flows are over four different years. And that's right, the answer is not that they are the simple addition of those numbers. Instead, we must discount each of these future cash flows to account for the time value of money. We do this by applying the present value formula to each cash flow and then sum those discounted cash flows. From here, we'll have a net present value of the project or investment. And this will be the value of the investment in terms of today's dollars. So rather than having a series of cash flows over four years, we can calculate what all those cash flows would be valued at if we had all the money today. So let's go back to our example and our earlier cash flows. 2016, today. We have an outflow of $1,000 to set up the gold mine. Then a year's time, $550 of gold. Two years' time, $350 in gold. Three years' time, $475 in gold. 
And now let's look at our present value formula. This is how we calculate net present value by using this famous formula, the present value formula. And the present value of these cash flows is equal to the future value divided by 1 plus r to the power of n. And the future value is, is equal to the future cash flow. The r in that figure is the discount rate or interest rate. And n is the number of periods that you have to discount. The number of perhaps years or half years that you're pulling the future figure back to the present. So let's apply this formula to each of our cash flows. And the first thing we're going to assume is that our discount rate is 5%. So the little letter R is 5%. This figure is based on some sort of interest rate or project hurdle rate. Perhaps what we could get if we invested the money instead of in a gold mine in a bank account or something similar. So let's use this formula and plug in our figures for the cash flows we talked about earlier. So 2016 minus $1,000, because it's today's dollars, we don't have to discount very much, the, the power is zero. So it's just $1,000 today, minus $1,000 today, I should say. So then we have the 2017 figure of the $550 in gold we get, and we divide that by one plus R, which is one plus 0 0.05, because remember 5% is our discount rate, and we power 1.05 to the power of 1. And if we plug in that formula and those calculations, the present value of that $550 is $524, taking into account the time value of money. Do the same thing for 2018 with $350 in gold. It's the same formula, or the same digits, except that this time the N is 2, because this time it's 2 years ahead. So we have to discount it back 2 years. So once we change that number two, change the one to the two, the new present value is $317 and not $350. And then we repeat the process for 2019. $475 in gold, one plus 0.05 for R to the power of N, which is three years away, and that equals $410. And so we've got minus 1,000, 524, 317, and 410. And then we sum these together to determine our net present value, and that is $251. So the value of this gold mine is $251 in terms of today's dollars. So if we decide to undertake this project to start this gold mine, effectively we're creating value of $251. And this is not the straight sum of 375 of just the absolute cash flows. And this is because of the time value of money over the three or four different years. So that's about it. Let's just review what we covered. The time value of money is a key finance concept, saying that $1 today is worth more than $1 tomorrow. Because $1 today can be invested and worth $1 plus interest tomorrow. And then we talked about net present values, and this is a time value of money application that allows you to value a series of future cash flow in terms of today's dollars, in terms of today's value. We discount the future cash flows via the present value formula. And the present value formula is the future value divided by 1 plus r to the power of n. Okay, that's it. Thanks for your time. That's a quick guide to the time value of money and net present value. Um, I hope you can give me a thumbs up. Thanks very much.